Hi everyone, it's Mike here from Player One Ready doing another FIFA 20 comparison review. This one is between uh, between Gareth Bale of Real Madrid and Osmina Dembele of Bayern Munich, uh, Bayern Munich, Barcelona. So this team that I played both of them in, both in a 4-3-2-1, both on that right forward position, in exactly the same side. Which, to be honest with you, I struggled with this team with both players, and it wasn't down to them. I just I don't I don't know. I don't know what worked with this team. I don't know what the problem was. Anyway, we're going to go into Bale stats first of all. Uh, 90 pace. 91 pace, sorry, so 91, 90 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 85 positioning, 84 finishing, a whopping 92 shot power, 90 long shots, 85 volleys, and 76 penos. Excuse me, sorry for my voice, I've got a bit of a cold, as you might tell. Uh, 86 crossing, 87 free kicks, 81 short passing, 80 long passing, and 90 curve. Um, so, a really, really powerful shot, pacey. His dribbling's okay, but agility kind of lets him down, and he's fairly strong as well with 80 pace. Going into uh, Osmina Dembele, He's quicker than Bale, as you can see, 90, 93 pace, with broken down to 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. His shot power isn't anywhere near as effective, neither is long shots. His finishing is 5 worse at 79. His short passing is the same as Bale's, his vision is 1 rating less. But as you can see, much better on the ball. Uh, 89 dribbling, so that's you know that's 6 higher than what Bale's is. 85 book control is decent. 89 agility is key, that's what really changes this card from Bale when he's on the ball. We're going to go into Bale's stats for me, and then we're going to go into some gameplay. Uh, so, Gareth Bale, six games played, seven goals, three assists. So, ten goal contributions out on that right forward, which I should be doing better with Bale. I struggled with this team, as I said. He's got medium-medium work rates on his left foot. He's three-star weak foot, four-star skill. So, a couple of negatives in there. First of all, medium attacking work rate isn't fantastic. Second of all, three-star skill makes it very, very predictable where you're going to go with this card. Going into Dembele, we'll talk about that later, but he's got a completely different build and a different stat entirely, and that changes them completely. So the three assists were sort of basic assists, really. This one was a decent cross into Lewandowski, uh, just sort of just getting peeling off his man at the uh, mid, uh, just between the penalty spot and six yard box there, heading it home. We're going to go talk about his his, his pros and cons, really. Um, obviously, being Gareth Bale, we know what his pros are going to be. Really quick. Good shot power, good finishing, good long shots, and, and, and you know, being athletic, he's he's quick, and and physical and strong, and that's what I like. Um, sometimes medium work rates, though, as I said in it, it just now, is a big is a big big factor in, in in this card. I don't like he didn't really actively go out and try and be into positions. He just sort of waited around for it to happen, and his three star weak foot, as I said, predictable. Le uh, Gareth Bale left foot, you know what's going to happen. So, uh, what I can talk about is positive. It's his finishing here. Well, I did get chances with him, and, and, and uh, Mitch again. I was wasn't good with this team, but when I did get chances with Bale, of course he scored them. He was always going to. That was never going to be in doubt. Whether I think he's worth 160, 160, 170 thousand coins, which is what he's going for as of recording. Uh, I just checked that on Footbin. I don't think he's worth 160, 170 thousand coins. His stats are good, and he plays okay, but. Just getting into position sometimes. He's just off the ball. He's just so lazy. I can't say any more than that. He's, when he gets there, he's fantastic. Look at that. Near post. Bang. Lots of shot power. Really good goal. And when you've got the ball with him, he's going to run past people because he's that quick. But for 170k, it shouldn't be difficult. It shouldn't be hard to create chances with him. And again, again, I will keep saying this. I was bad with this team and I shouldn't have been. But some of that has to lie on this card. Some of it kind of has to. I mean, look at that, a great goal again. But most of these goals are me getting the ball and either squaring it to him or him just relying on just ev eventually just turning up and me just sprinting with him. It wasn't that he was in a good position to start with. He was just, I just ran with him. And, and even then, his agility wasn't fantastic when I did. So I've got, I still give him a you know really high rating because he was brilliant when I did. It was just, oh, I don't know. It was just annoying. It was frustrating because it should have been so much better. It should be so much more. Going into Dembele, um, now he's five star weak foot, five star skill, so it cha completely changes that. He is still left footed like Bale, but can go either way, and the outcome will still be the same. Again, I only got nine goal contributions, but I found even with a bad a team that I did not suit, this card was more fun to use and it was more rewarding in it when you did sort of play well and when you didn't play well you were still having a bit more fun and even if you are struggling you want fun now he's going for about 60,000 62,000 coins so 170 60,000 that's 110k difference and I don't know why I just don't know why if someone could tell me then please do because I thought he was better on 
in terms of, okay, his goal contributions may not be as good by one, but he was more fun. And he'll be reliable. You, he will be re he will be reliable for you. I, I mean, if you're if you're better than better than I am, and and, and maybe playing in a different system with different players, he will be he will be better than Bale. I will say this now. A friend of mine recommended me to use Dembele and and out the two. We both in agreement that we both prefer uh, Osmond Dembele of, of of Barcelona, and he just felt. Th there's two ways of looking at it. Gareth Bale is a more powerful, more physical, more aggressive player on FIFA. Whereas with Dembele, it's, it's got a bit more finesse and a bit more control about him. And 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 his his dribbling's a bit more um, efficient and 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 predictable for you. So you always know what you, what what he's going to do, and that and that is key for me. And his positioning with that high work rate, as opposed to Bale's uh, as opposed to Bale's medium, meant he was just more attacking, more obviously more attacking more of the time, and actually proactively making runs and making space for himself. And he was easier to use than Bale. I mean, that, that, that's that, that's the outcome. His agility, his agility is 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 top class. I'm not the greatest dribbler. I don't tend to try and use a lot of skill moves, but you will, you will cause havoc with him if you're good on the ball, good at running at players. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So, I, I I would recommend Bale, and I'd recommend saving yourself a hundred thousand coins and going out and buying Luis Suarez and just buying a striker from uh, from from La Liga. Just save that cash. You don't you don't need it. You don't need to spend that much on Bale. You just you just don't. and Bale is great. Don't get me wrong, but I, I I did enjoy using him, and it was nice to have Gareth Bale. But for one hundred ten k less. Save it. I just, just, just do it. Just, just don't even look back. Just, just get rid of your bail and go and buy him. All right? Because I've given Bale four star, and I've given Dembele five. Now Dembele is five star, and he's 110k less. And do I need to make that any more clear? I don't, do I? So thank you for watching. Um, I hope I've been helpful, and I hope I've saved you some coins. And um, please like and subscribe and check out our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.